This is my pickle that I used to cut the pipe. See how it's like hanging there? So we're giving it a red flag for warning. Little flame. One inch. We've been working day and night on this content. It is getting tiring, but it is going to be worth it. All my dreams, all my visions crammed into all of this. You guys got to see it. It's incredible. If you thought the content before was amazing, this is incredible. We've been working day and night on this content. It is getting tiring, but it is gonna be worth it. All my dreams, all my visions crammed into all of this. You guys gotta see it, it's incredible. If you thought the content before was amazing, this is incredible. All right, so this is my pickle that I use to cut the pipes. Uh, a lot of the times I'm out here doing it all by myself, so I have to be really cautious of how I position the uh, machine so it doesn't roll off the opposite side. I have to make sure I'm not going to lose any links as I try to get it to be where I need it to be. So there's just a couple little things that you have to keep in mind and that's holding your machine. You can uh, release the brake actually. There's a brake on here and that will allow you to pull your chain down. Okay. Now that actually goes both ways. It'll, it'll roll each way so you can actually eventually roll it back. And I would say get it about like right there before you decide to lock it. Go ahead and lock it. Now when you lock it, make sure you have a firm grip on this up here with a slight tilt of it backwards. Don't have it too forward because it'll come forward. That way you can reach under the pipe and grab your chain and bring it to where you need to adjust. All right, now, be real careful with this. I need to take this down a lot in order for this chain to go to work properly. So I have to back it off almost to where my gear is touching my bar down here. And I need as much slack as I can in order to get this chain to fit properly. Now these do go on one way or one way than the other. Oh, it's getting heavy over there. Oh, it's got a flat side on one side and that's the side that's supposed to slide through on first. I might have to get some more slack going here. Oh, I'm pretty slacked out actually, hold on. Let me release it. easier job with two people, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, I always like to do this with two people because when you got two people, you can really have somebody just hold this machine for you over here. And then you don't gotta fight getting this chain on like this. Cause I got a lot of strength here in my back arm to hold the beveler from uh, flying backwards. Cause you don't wanna drop it. And then I gotta get that on there. See, it can be done though, I got it. Now don't let go of it yet, because it'll still roll, watch. Oh, it'll still roll, and it'll go all the way to the ground. So stay a hold of that, make sure it's kind of back, not forward, because it'll roll forward and it'll hurt you. And then you start getting your tension back on it. And actually at this point, if you've got your hands on here, you can hold on to it here and kind of use both of your hands. I'm gonna get it tight uh, or snug to where it kind of holds it, and then I'm gonna find my mark and then line it up with my mark. I don't know exactly where my mark is over here, but I know it's close to this area. Actually, I can kind of start looking for it and get it lined up. Uh, looks like my mark is right here. So I'm pretty close actually. So what I'll do is I'll get the tension on here and then I'll break the, I'll break it loose and I'll roll it. And I'll see how close I am to my mark down here. Oh, the chain see, it still needs to be, see how it's like hanging there? <clears throat> That's all right. So because is it best to adjust to these things, uh, and it, explain it to me as you're telling me, from the bottom or the top? Well, I like to adjust it from the top, but you can do it down here from the bottom. You know, it probably would be not a bad idea to have it down here and hanging out, just so you're not trying to hold it up there. Once you get the tension of the chain and it hooked together, 
Yeah, it's actually a really good suggestion. I never really think about it like that. Now that I got my chain here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unlock it and go around it a couple times to make sure that the chain is where I want it. I like it. So now I'm gonna get up top. I'm gonna hook up my oxygen acetylene. I'm gonna take off the coating. Once I bring the coating off, I'll apply my cut and cut. Right now we gotta make sure that the pipe is visible at the end with the traffic coming in and out. So we're giving it a red flag for warning. All right guys, let's get up here. Let's get it lit. Let's get, the, let's get in the cut. Little flame. So now flip my hose around again because I just like to uh, cut this way. The reason is is because I kind of got my torch tilted just a little bit to kind of drag the cut that way. And if I was to try to go this way with the cut, it would be like trying to cut with a backwards torch and that's just not going to work for me. So we got all the coating off of it. I didn't really apply much uh, back pressure oxygen, I just applied regular oxygen and uh, propylene to cut it. And you can see it kind of flaking off. Now we'll go ahead and uh, relight it and start cutting it. Still completion. One inch. Bam. Pipe cut number two. Uh, this cut was better than my first cut. You know, the more you get to using the tools, uh, the first time around kind of be rough, but you know, the more you work it, the better it'll be when you get going on it. Yeah, I like that cut. We've got to cut our last pipe to 30 foot and we're done with them. Well, 
the pipe I put up here is not the right um, wall thickness. So instead of even pulling it off of here, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm just gonna grab this pipe over here and put it up here and cut it to length. And that pipe, when we go to load them all, we'll just put that one aside later. No sense in trying to move it all around right now. We need to get over here and pick up this big one now. This great big one. Because the wall thickness has to be the same for this project specifically. Sometimes you can get away with the wall thickness being different on some pipes, but sometimes not. In this case, not. I gotta pick this one up and move it. Cause I didn't think I was gonna have to come after this other one out here. Now that we got the coating cut off, I'm gonna pull my cords again to the bottom, wrap it around, cause I'm gonna cut this way with it. And then I'm gonna begin my cut. That's how you cut a pipe with a pickle. Now, if it's heavy pipe, let it fall. If it's thin pipe, catch it with jacks, because when it falls, it's gonna egg it. Well, that's a wrap for today. Let's go ahead and clean up and get out of here. So, so now I'll go ahead and break down the beveler, the pickle, take off my chain, uh, and then go ahead and store it for uh, storage, so that way it'll be ready for next time use. Try it. You ain't learning unless you're burning, and you ain't earning unless you're burning. Best way to store this chain would be to wrap it up like this and find either a nice case to put it in or a box to put it in. So that way it can stay intact. Thank you guys for hanging out with us and seeing what we got going on today. I'm cutting the 24 inch pipe with the pickle apparatus, showing you how I can go and tackle my job on a daily basis. It can change up at any moment and you need to be ready to do that. There's some things I'm doing that you might not agree with, and that's okay. 
I'm just a different skill professional in my own trade and I do things my way. If you can do it a different way, leave it in the comments. Let us know how, the way you're gonna do it. Another thing I'd like to mention is I'm not cutting with a face shield. A 5% dark shaded face shield will prevent your face from getting burned as well from sparks being entered down inside your glasses or down inside your jacket. So pay attention, make uh, safety your number one priority and make sure that you're going all in and being safe about it. Thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time.